The 2023 Sunday X is a pretty popular BMX bike in Sunday's lineup, okay? The Sunday X is known for having pretty good quality and being signature models for Julian Ortega and Eric Elstrand. The Sunday X is on the pricey side, but it is the first bike in Sunday's lineup to come with full chromoly frame, forks, handlebars, double wall rims, and all of the core components that I look for when I'm recommending a bike and what I look for to classify a bike as good quality. In this video, I'm gonna give you everything there is to know about the Sunday X so that you can decide if this is a good bike for you. Basically, I want you to get the perfect bike. I don't want you to waste your money. And that's what this review is, is aimed at, okay? I'm gonna make sure that you understand what this bike is and that you don't waste your money on it if it's not a good fit for you. So let's get right into it. The Sunday X is pretty light. It's gonna weigh 25.75 pounds, but it is a little bit expensive. No matter which version you get, if you get the Ortega version or the Elstrand version, it's still gonna cost you $629. Everything on the Sunday X is fully upgradable and fully customizable. This is actually a really good quality bike. So right off the bat, I wouldn't recommend changing very many parts unless it was just for cosmetic reasons. This bike doesn't come with any pegs, but it does come with one plastic hub guard on the non-drive side in the back. It also comes with U-brakes so you can stop this bike. It comes equipped with brakes. You don't have to worry about that. One cool thing though is that everything on the brake system is completely removable. So if you wanted to take the brakes off, you can have a nice clean brakeless look if that's more your style. Like I said, it's only available in two different options. The two different options are a 20.75 inch Julian Ortega cool mint colorway and a 21 inch Eric Elstrand gloss gray colorway. So if you're choosing between the the Eric Elstrand or the Julian Ortega version, you need to understand the top tube size. The 20.75 inch top tube is gonna to be best for riders who are between five foot nine and six foot, while the 21 inch top tube option is best for riders over six foot. Although if you're over six three, you know, or six four, I would recommend getting a 21.25. So along with that top tube size, there are other geometries in the frame that are gonna affect how this bike handles. The Sunday X has a 75 degree head tube angle a nine inch standover height. The chainstay length is between 13.2 and 13.5 inches. And it has an 11.5 inch bottom bracket height. The head tube angle is pretty average. The nine inch standover height is pretty average. The chainstay length is on the longer end. If you run your back wheel slammed completely, it's gonna be about 13.2 inches. If you run it all the way back, it's gonna be about 13.5 inches. And this is a little bit longer. Like I said, it's gonna make the bike harder to pull back and initiate a manual, harder to pull back and loop out. But the good part of that is it does give the bike some extra stability and some extra control. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna loop back out on you all the time. And I'd say the bottom bracket height is slightly lower than average. 11.5 inches is a tiny bit smaller than the 11.6, which is mostly average. Um, and this is gonna give the bike more stability because your feet are closer to the ground, but I wouldn't say it's gonna have that big of an effect on the bike. The forks are pretty responsive with a 25 millimeter offset. The handlebars are nine inches tall and 29 inches wide. It comes with a Sunday Freeze top load stem with a 48 millimeter reach. I've ridden this stem for a long time and I really like this stem. Okay, let's talk about quality. One of the most important parts about buying a bike. This this frame on the Sunday X is 100% chromoly and it has the wave down tube. The wave down tube I'm 90% sure is a patented thing through Sunday because nobody else does it. And if you look closely, you can see the crinkles on the down tube. What this does is it adds extra strength, straight tubing, can bend a lot easier, get, get dings in it. And the wave down tube just adds extra strength to that to make the whole frame stronger overall. This bike behind me is a Sunday dark wave. It has the wave down tube. It looks kind of cool and I've never had an issue with it. So I think it's interesting that they include that technology on a $629 bike. Anyway, the bike's full, the frame's full Kamali, so that's good. The forks are full Kamali, which is a nice added touch because the forecaster was not full Kamali, uh, but these forks do have a two piece steer tube. The handlebars are full chromoly four-piece handlebars on the Sunday X. It has eight spline, three-piece full chromoly cranks, and it comes with Odyssey Stage 2 rims. So if you remember in the forecast review, it comes with Odyssey Stage 1 rims, and the Stage 1 rims are single wall rims with an extra thick sidewall. These Stage 2 rims are cheap, 
double wall rims, but they're double wall rims nonetheless. I'd say they're very similar to the Mission Mylar rims that you're gonna see on the Kink Whip and uh, the Kink Switch, but you know, they're double wall rims, that's great. One thing I wanna point out that, you know, double check before you get the bike. If you do your due diligence, there's something on Sunday's website and other websites that sell this bike where they mention it depends on what they were sent as to what rims you're gonna get. I know this sounds this sounds bizarre, okay? But it essentially says Odyssey Stage 2 rims or Sunday Lightning rims, whichever ones are available. Sunday Lightning rims are cheap single wall rims with an extra thick sidewall. They are not nearly as good as the Stage 2 rims. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're getting the bike with the Stage 2 rim. The 2022 version and the 2021 version of the Sunday X came with single wall rims. And so it's nice to see in 2023, they've got double wall rims, but if they're gonna still send out bikes with single wall rims because of availability, that's not good and you need to know that. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on. I think you're gonna get the Sunday uh, or the Odyssey stage two rims, but honestly double check because you never know. You never know and that's crazy that that's even an option. So because of this quality, I'm not really gonna give the bike a weight limit, but if I had to assign a number, I'd say around 200 pounds. I'd keep it close to that number, you know, maybe 210, 220, you'd be fine. But if you're significantly heavier, like 250 plus, um, even though this is full Kamali and this is good quality stuff, you're gonna have issues. You know, chain breaking, the Sunday Sabre 2 sprocket bending, it's just a steel sprocket, it's not an alloy sprocket. Um, things are gonna happen if you're over 250 pounds. If you're right around 200 or less, this quality is gonna be good and it's gonna last you quite a long time. Okay, so final thoughts. I think the Sunday X is a solid bike. I liked the Sunday X last year and I especially like it this year because of some of the quality improvements that we've seen. Does that make the bike worth $629? The answer is gonna be no. Um, this is a good bike and I do recommend it for quite a few people, but it is a premium price. It's an overpriced bike. It's a premium bike, just like We The People. Okay, We The People bikes are generally overpriced for what you're getting quality wise, but they're nice. They're like they're like the BMW and the Mercedes and, and the Porsche of the BMX world. And so is some of Sunday's bikes. I'd say this bike has close attention to detail, like the wave down tube, okay? There are small aftermarket parts that make this bike a little bit better than some of the cheap cheaper brands that you might see, but it doesn't change the fact that in my opinion, this bike is a little bit overpriced. Like I said, a lot of you guys probably got this bike on your bike recommendation and that's why you're watching this video. And if I sent it to you on the free bike recommendation, this is a, one of the best bikes you can get. You can spend a little bit more and get something, you know, get something about the same quality. You can spend about the same and get something slightly better quality. But for the most part, this is going to be a fair option. It doesn't change the fact it's slightly overpriced and I just want you guys to know that if you look at the Dougster Bob app, you can see the value score on this bike and you can see how that value score compares to other bikes at the similar price, okay? Double check that, but I just wanted to share my honest thoughts about this bike. YouTube thinks that the video up here on the screen is a good video for you to watch and uh, let me know in the comments which bike I should review next. I'll see you guys in the next video.